Welcome back to Halftime on San Antonio Sports Star on 94.1 FM. The Big Stick, all over San Antonio, all over South Texas. Mikey Men is here, Edwin Hafner, producing this show. Super excited because we have a new segment that we're hoping to do every Wednesday. We have Coach G.J. Kinney from Incarnate Word, the head football coach out there. He's new to town. He's new to the program. Welcome, Coach. How are you doing today? Appreciate you having me. Well, I'm not saying that you're new to town. You were hired back in December, right? So you've gotten a chance to check out San Antonio and whatnot. But you are now joining a team that last year was 10-3, and three, won a playoff game. Is it difficult to take over a program that's like that? Or is it easier, do you think, to take over a program that is maybe 3-10 and 10, as opposed to being 10-3? and three? You know, I think there's advantages to both, but we have a really, uh, really good team, a bunch of really good coaches. You know, I kept a couple guys on offense, one on defense and special teams. So, uh, you know, I, I feel like the core is there and, and uh, just really excited to, to lace them up on Saturday. Now, I'm super excited for you because you are 33 years old. Your first head coaching gig, Southland Conference. I mean, this has got to be a dream come true for you to be at this level now. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely a dream come true. Getting the opportunity to come back to Texas and and like you said, come to a team that's used to winning. Uh, that was that was big for me and and exciting and and uh, great leadership here. Uh, and you know, a bunch of great players and great coaches. Now we're going to talk about the team in a moment. I just want people to get to know you a little bit better. Uh, I know that yesterday you were on the Blitz with Jason and Joe, uh, but one of the things I noticed as part of your resume is that you've kind of progressively have gone up the ranks as time has gone on you know uh mm-hmm. you, you were uh when you were in the nfl when you were in the coaching ranks as well like when, when at smu and things like that but then you moved up to hawaii and ucf as an offensive coordinator how has that transition been to go around and not really have i don't want to say not have roots but the fact of the matter is, is that when you're trying to make your way in the coaching ranks you have to bounce around a bit yeah, I think that's part of the game now. Um, and, I, and I've treated every day since my playing time in, in college and the NFL is, is every day is a, a job interview. You know, I'm competing every day, you know, with myself, with anyone else, you know, not really coaching staff, but as a player, other guys on the team. And, and I think that's helped me uh, in the coaching journey and, and be able to bring it every day. It's a grind, uh, but, you know, it's fun. You know, that's my passion is coaching and 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 mentoring young men uh, on and off the field. So, you know, it's been a blessing so far. Now, they're not that much younger than you. Typically, when you take a look at these college coaches out there, they're old enough to be the dad, and in some cases, old enough to be the granddad. But you're old enough to be big brother or at least uncle, right? Because you're 33. You have players going over there from the ages of 18 to 22. That being said, do you think that there's a positive to that being able to maybe relate to them a little bit better? Yeah, I think so for sure. I think that's kind of where the game's going, um, you know, especially in the recruiting in college. Uh, that's one thing I love about college is, is the uh, opportunity to recruit. Um, you know, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter. Um, you know, my grandparents are on Facebook. You know, I'm not recruiting anyone <laughs> on Facebook. So uh, Snapchat, you know, all, all those different, you know, avenues to reach these these young men. And, you know, I think, too, uh, being a head coach, you know, being able to relate to these guys and, and talk about my journey as a player and, And my time in the NFL is both a player and a coach. So, um, yeah, I definitely think that helps. Now, you can say that. I was an NFL player. I made a 53-man roster. I made it to the top. Uh, So that being said, uh, you you mentioned being on the recruiting hunt for players, whether it be YouTube or Instagram or whatnot. But locally, you're in that hunt with Coach Trailer over at UTSA. But you guys have a history together, a positive history, both as when you were a player and also as a young coach. Yeah, yeah. Coach Trailer is a, a mentor for me. Obviously, I played for him in high school at Gilmer High School, um, and you know we work together at SMU in Arkansas, and 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 we stay in touch. And, and I'm going to be in his son's wedding. Uh, wow. Coming up. And yeah. So it's it's a it's it's a truly a family situation. That's another positive about me being in San Antonio. You know, it really was. Um, I called him throughout the whole process, the hiring process, and I still talk to him. You know, I think twice during fall camp. You know, we're both busy, but anytime I have a question. Um, as far as that goes, you know, I'll give him a call and, and, uh, you know, he, he's always, he's an open book and, and, uh, he's, he's just a tremendous person and he's got a big game coming up on Saturday as well. So wishing those guys luck. He does. And so do you guys against the, uh, Salukis, right? You got, uh, uh, Illinois coming in, Southern Illinois coming in. Uh, they were eight and five last year. So, you know, not scrubs. That's a pretty good team coming in. I mentioned in the other segment that, uh, you know, you could make it a double header if you wanted to, right? 
Football fans can go to a UTSA game. That's a 2.30 start. Probably be done around 5 o'clock or so, 5.30. Make your way over to UIW because that game, I believe, is at 6. Make it a double header. I, I think I might make that happen. Yeah, let's do it. I, I like your, where your head's at, man. That's awesome. <laughs> They're already downtown, right? Just go yep, over yep. five minutes. Just go down Broadway, right, and make it happen over at Benson Field. Sure. Tell me about the Salukis. You know, what do you know about them? Uh, you know, any scouting on them? What, what what kind of team are they? Yeah, we've we've done a lot of you know um, study and and uh, research and work on these guys. Obviously, we knew we were playing them week one. So in the summertime, I always like to try to get ahead on. on and, and this summer was just on these guys. We didn't look any uh, further than those guys. And and uh, I think they're very well coached. Uh, coach Hill does a really good job. He's another former NFL quarterback that you know turned coach and and uh, you know he's got those guys going over there. He played there, and and uh, so I got a lot of respect for him. And, and uh, you know they get their quarterback coming back, Nick Baker. Um, he's he's a tremendous playmaker. Um, another guy with experience, um, big time game experience. So I don't think he'll be faced. You know, coming in here from you know obviously a marquee matchup in the FCS World Week One, um, and and so I think they're gonna you know they'll be ready. You know, he'll have those guys ready, and and uh, you know both sides of the ball. Um, so I look forward to it. They're they're an exciting team, and uh, you know everyone should be tuned in this Saturday. That is G.J. Kenny, head coach of the University of the Incarnate Word Cardinals. Again, they open up this weekend, 6 o'clock against Southern Illinois at Benson Stadium. Um, you're coming over from UCF, from, from Hawaii, offensive coordinator over there, uh, taking over for Eric Morris, who uh, left for Washington State. Uh, but what I know about Hawaii and UCF is they like to air it out, right? Is that mm -hmm. something that we can expect from the offense this year? A lot of passing, a lot of air attacks? Yeah, we're definitely going to be exciting. Uh, obviously, I'm a former quarterback. I love to throw the football. Uh, <laughs> nothing better than, than throwing the football. But at the same time, we're going to take what the defense gives us. Uh, we feel like we have a really uh, great group of running backs and great O-line. And, you know, Lindsey um, Scott being our quarterback, he's he's a dual-threat guy. So um, anytime we can take advantage of, of the defensive numbers, we're going to. Uh, but at the same time, you know, when you have all American uh, like Taylor Grimes at receiver, you're going to try to get on the ball as many, you know many times as you can throughout the game. You know, last year uh, the UTSA Roadrunners had two players drafted in the NFL draft, right? And they had some players who latched on undrafted free agents. Uh, but looking at Incarnate Word, though, there's a lot of buzz out there that there's a defensive player who might be playing on the Sunday pretty soon. Yeah, Kalechi Anya Lebechi is is no doubt the leader of our defense. Um, great player, great person. Uh, exactly what you said. I think, you know, he should get drafted. Um, he he's you know proven that you know on the field, and and I think he's going to have a huge year this year for us. And, and uh, he's been a blessing for me as a you know first time head coach coming into a new program, and and uh, you know really being supportive for me. And and uh, you know he's he's been great. And, and uh, I can't wait to watch him on Saturday. And what would that mean for Incarnate Word to have that under, you know, that feather in their cap to say, hey, you can actually come over here and play on Sundays in the NFL because we had somebody drafted. How big would that be for the program? Yeah, it'd be huge. You know, it just takes one guy and, uh, you know, those NFL teams start taking notice. And you can see just throughout fall camp, we've had a you know a couple of NFL teams come out and, and check out our guys. And that's been huge. And. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm you know, like I said, I'm really excited, not only for Kletchy, but, you know, multiple seniors that, that we have on our team that I feel like have a legit shot. Again, this is coach G.J. Kinney of Incarnate Word. First game, his first time as a head coach, just 33 years old. I have to ask you this question real fast, and it has nothing to do with college football. It has to do with a movie, yeah. okay? All right. uh, what I do on Wednesdays, just to let you know, is I do a nostalgic movie review of a movie that everyone has seemed to have watched before, except I just skipped it. I, I was sheltered as a child, apparently. So last night, tell me if you've seen this movie, Any Given Sunday. I've seen it, but it's not, you know, it's not a movie that, like, is one of my favorites, or I, I could quote any, you know, <laughs> any lines from or anything like that. So I can't help you too much with that movie. Do you have a favorite sports movie? Like, you look back and go, wow, that was a good football hmm. movie because of this, or it doesn't have to be football, but do you have a favorite sports movie that you that you hold close to your heart? Um, I'll throw two out there for you. Um, 
remember the Titans, obviously, is, mm-hmm. is one of my favorites. You know, I love the, you know, just the way those guys came together and, and uh, you know, built the team and, and uh, everything that was going on in the world at that time. And then the Sandlot, you know, baseball guy growing up, that's a, you know, that's a classic. Oh, thumbs up to both. Benny the Jet, though. Still don't know why he oh, yeah. uh, went swimming in jeans, but that's just what they did back then, apparently. But yeah, uh, that was yeah, a good movie. Bandino. That yeah. is Coach G.J. Kenny of Incarnate Word again. Season opens for them as well. It's not just UTSA. It's Incarnate Word, 6 p.m. against Southern Illinois, the Salukis. They were 8-5 and five last year. Incarnate Word was 10-3 and three last year. This is going to be a great game. Thank you for being with us. And, and any last words uh, that you'd like to say? No, we just we need, like you said, we need all the support we can get at 6 o'clock. You know, our guys deserve it. Um, this is a championship caliber program, uh, marquee matchup versus two top 25 teams. And, uh, you know, we need all the support we can get. Very nice. Coach Kenny, good luck this weekend. We'll see you out there, man. All right. Thank you. Very nice. Again, that is Coach GJ Kenny of Incarnate Word. Season opens up 6 p.m. Saturday over at Benson Field, taking on Southern Illinois.